Assalamu alaikum and good morning. Um, we are going to continue with the uh, examples of using LT Spice uh, <clears throat> with the second example, which is the practice problem 2.7, which have done which we have done before in uh, our previous uh, video. So if you have not uh, seen or watched the video yet uh, please watch this the video which solves this problem first before uh, you can proceed with this uh, video of using LT spice okay so the circuits that we are going to simulate uh, and verify the answer that we have here which is uh, I naught and V naught which is equals to 6.92 and 13.84 is shown here um, we have uh, a current source here, a resistor, a uh, dependent current source and this is a current controlled current source because the value of the current source here I not there is coming from the current flowing through that 2 ohm resistor and then we have another uh, resistor there. Okay so as before we are going to build this circuit first and then we're going to uh, set the simulations the type of analysis that we want and then uh, finally we can uh, simulate and verify uh, the uh, circuit okay so to uh, open a blank schematic as before you just press that new schematic there so this is where you can place all the uh, components here i have a couple of resistance so i'm going to place the resistance first we have one and we have another resistance here press escape to um, end the mode and then i'm going to place the uh, current source independent current source there is no shortcut menu for the uh, independent current source you have to go to the component list here scroll to the left sorry the right um, no yeah there is a current here that is actually a current source right if you're using a voltage as before we go to the left we have a voltage source so if you go if you want to use the uh, simulate the current source independent current source then that is the one that we are going to use um, as before this current source can simulate not only DC but other type of source such as AC pulse, sine, piecewise linear, exponential, and so on. Okay, so for this uh, particular example, we're just going to use it for just for the DC. So go ahead and place the current source here. Before you press the click the right hand button of your mouse, you can rotate it first because you can see that. In the circuit that we want to simulate the arrow is pointing upwards but here we have an arrow pointing downwards so you just press ctrl and r together twice to rotate it 180 degrees so that the arrow now is pointing upwards and then press the uh, mouse and then press escape to uh, end the mode all right and then we have to add the uh, uh, dependent source here which is the current controlled current source uh, you go to the component list here and the current source or the dependent current source can be simulated using that B there which is the arbitrary behavioral current source all right if you if you want to simulate the uh, dependent voltage source then you use BV which is the arbitrary behavioral voltage source okay for so for the uh, current source we use that one B1 press OK and then the directions of the current is going downward so this uh, same direction says what we want so click there and then escape um, zoom out a little bit and then I'm going to arrange this a bit further from there 
then uh, okay so now we can connect it using the wires uh, they are all connected in parallel right so okay and then uh, of course we need the reference or the ground otherwise uh, LT spice will not be able to simulate the circuit so you have to place that ground somewhere here and connect it to the circuit all right now the next step is to change the values so we have 15 ampere 2 and then i naught that current flowing uh, through that 2 ohms going downwards and then we have 12 ohm there so we start off with 15 here right click to i then type 15 this is uh, 2 ohms right and then we have a current going down which is actually controlled by the current going through that 2 ohm resistance downwards all right so as i said uh, in my previous slides when you first place the resistor the default positive terminal is upwards here okay at the top here so you have a positive here and you have a negative there which means that this is uh, the current which is flowing through that r1 um, as far as the lt spice is concerned is going to be flowing from uh, top to the bottom okay which is what we want so to change the uh, variable which controlling that current source you just right click that i equals to f there right and then you change the expressions of that i there so i want the current to be controlled by a current flowing through r1 so what i do is i just use i and then bracket r1 okay so that will be the current flowing through r1 if there is a constant because uh, in our example here the constant is just it's just one here okay uh, let's say that instead of one there is 0 0.5 or 3 uh, whatever the constant is multiply with i naught to give the values of that dependent current source then you have to you can do that by adding a constant here for example 3 times i naught uh, which is flowing through that r1 and so on okay but in our case the uh, it's just a uh, one uh, multiplications of one so you just leave as it is i equals to i r1 press ok and then this will show you that the values of this dependent current source is actually equal to the current flowing through R1 and it is going downwards because the positive terminal of R1 is at the top here okay and then we have uh, 12 ampere here sorry 12 ohms uh, and then we have completed the circuit the next step is to tell LT spice uh, the type of simulations that we, are, uh, we want to perform so you go to simulate edit simulation command and then you use the DC operating point just press OK place place the directive anywhere here and we are ready to simulate the circuit now right so just press that run button and then you will have all the uh, uh, values of the voltage the current uh, uh, which is shown here since there is only two nodes one at the top here another one which is at the bottom which is happens to be the uh, ground then we only have one node voltage there which is n001 which is equals to 13.8462 which is also equals to the voltage across that r2 uh, the one the one that we uh, uh, want to find all right so the uh, voltage there is 13.84 which is similar to what we uh, calculated here 
all right what about the current the current through r1 which is i naught is equals to 6.92 ampere okay which is similar to what we have calculated here all right uh, as before you can also display the voltage on the schematic by just clicking that uh, point there and then through the the current through that r2 if you just use the voltage first and then you edit it uh edit it as change it to, to the current i r1 then you will get the current there okay 6.92 uh, zero and so on all right um other than that as before if you want to remove this you know this uh whatever for example if i want to remove that uh values of the current 6.92 i can use the scissor there yeah just to cut that right or even that one or even if i want to remove the component here i can use that as well right so um and um again you can use the uh you can find what is the power dissipated uh, in each of these elements here by uh, placing the cursor uh, to, the, to that element and then we can see that values of the dissipated power which is basically here is equals to negative 207.969 watt which means that the power is absorbed ab actually supplied by this current source then we have a power dissipated there 95.85 and then we have a, another power dissipated there even though it is a dependent uh, current source but the uh, power uh, but the but it is dissipating the power which, which of uh, 95.8586 watt and then we have the 15.97 watt power dissipated in r2 okay so that uh, completes the simulations of a practice problem uh, 2.7.